Hey YouTubers, these are some crystals I got a long time ago. I'm going back to see what I can find. And it took a lot of looking, but hopefully we find some on this mission. And be sure to watch to the end to see the things I make. Hey YouTubers, this is the entrance to the where we get to dig for the crystals. We're gonna have a great time. Okay, here we go. We gotta find our spot of yum yum. Now I'm just gonna serve a search for any crystals laying around and a good spot to dig. First good crystal of the day. piece of one. That's a good one though. Well, here we are Ron Coleman's. Uh, we put in a couple hours. This is all we have. We're going to try a different spot. A different mine. Some pretty good ones. There's little ones in there. but We're looking for the bigger stuff. Here we are in Miller Mountain Coleman's mine. I'm going to give it a shot. Got some fresh dirt turned over. Clay stuff and you break it open. These crystals are growing inside. Looking good. delicious.
right. Well, we did pretty good. Didn't find any big ones, but we got a lot of small ones. Look, look better when they're cleaned off. Not bad. Little clusters. Don't look like much all dirty, but when they get cleaned up and boiling the oxalic acid, they'll come really all take all the clay out of them. We'll do that here in a little bit in the home. Well, can't wait to clean these bees up. We did a little bit better than we thought. Quartz crystals from Coleman's Mines. Clay off the crystals in this pot on the he heater with the flame. Hey, got the crystals all cleaned up, uh, poured baking soda in the solution before I dumped it out to uh, neutralize the acid, and uh, got the crystals all cleaned up, and here they are. Beautiful, shining in the sun. A lot of good ones. Little, little clusters, and like a diamond mine. Go after the clear ones. There's some little growth on top of that. Look at that. That's a beauty. Clear as a bell. Clean. There's. Look at that. Clear as glass. Love it. Super cool. A little twin. Another twin right here. Too cool for school. There's a little cluster. Little family. one. Little birdie. <laughs> Here's a cluster. I love the way the crystals grow on top of each other. They're so symmetric. Did really good. A cool thing you can do with some of these little crystals is you can have jewelry made out of them. I had a, a, a gem cutter cut a little bit bigger one than this and make a ring and cut a couple others and made earrings and a necklace. And this is just a beautifully wrapped crystal here. Beautiful. Some of the things I like to do with the little crystals is make a driftwood light. It's with fairy lights that are battery operated. Here's the battery, and it has a remote, and uh, d d different things. Beautiful. Hey, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe, ring that bell, and hit the like button.